In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a panorama like the one you see here. This particular image was made with 34 separate images, and they were merged together in Adobe Lightroom. So I'm going to click on my first image. Now, when I did this, I took a photo, a photo, a photo, and I just went down the line and took those 34 different images. Now, when you do that, you want to make sure that you are shooting in manual exposure and also manual focus or be really mindful of where your camera is focusing on because if you have a subject that's really close then it's going to throw off the focus when you try to merge it all together so I'm not going to merge all 34 of these in this tutorial I'm just going to do it with the first three so here's the first one and the second one and the third one where we see the top of the tree the exposure is not that great here but I did shoot in raw so that I'm going to handle later, so don't bother doing any of your changes at first. So I'm going to select my first image, and I'm going to hold Shift, and select the last one. I'm just going to do these three, because it'll be faster to process. And then I'll go to Photo, the Photo menu, and I'm going to choose Photo Merge Panorama. I'm going to click that, and it's going to bring up the menu. And right now you can see that it is at first choosing a what's called a projection. Right now it's doing a spherical projection. And you can see that there are some gaps there where it did not capture. Now when you do a photo merge, when you're photographing, you want to make sure you have a, a, an overlap of about 40 to 60 percent. And then you're going to get a better overlap. But you can't get everything, so that's why you have these edges here. We'll take care of that a little later. So that is the spherical look or projection. And I'm going to do a cylindrical one and then you can see it looks a little bit different and it might be dependent upon your image what you like or perspective now this one does have quite a bit of distortion that shows up but let's say I go to spherical now you do have an option to fill edges when you do that it kind of thinks about what is there around in the surrounding area and it fills it in generally I try to avoid that because you can see right here that it clearly looks like it was cloned. So I try to avoid that fill edges. So I'm going to uncheck that and zoom out. Then you have this other one called a boundary warp. Now you can adjust that. And if I adjust it all the way to 100%, it's going to warp it so that it completely fills the edges of that. And that may or may not work. Now, if I go to cylindrical, same thing, I can look through that boundary or that boundary warp and adjust the slider as I see fit. But again, it does have that white border. The other thing you could do is a crop. You could do this auto crop. And generally, I use the auto settings for this. But if I go to perspective, you can see it has that great distortion. If I did say fill edges, it might take a little while as it tries to figure out what is supposed to be in there, and it may or may not be able to do it very well. But it, like I said, generally, I would avoid it. As you can see, it looks kind of ugly. So, And especially something like that perspective. So I'm going to turn off that fill edges. Now I could crank up that boundary warp. Um, does look at like it is a little bit more distorted when I put it on perspective. And I might prefer the spherical look, and we'll see. That looks a little bit better, a little more natural. When you are done, you can click Merge. You can see that there's a little green bar showing up on Lightroom. Now when I did that first one, that I did 34 images, it took really long. And you you might be wondering, is it actually doing anything? But you can see the progress at the bottom. Three images, not so bad. Now this camera is a, that was used is a 24 megapixel. And then here is that final merge. Now I can go in there and adjust things like the exposure. I'll notice it's a little bit overexposed here. So perhaps I can bring that exposure down. Now I'm losing my shadows a little bit and maybe I can bring those up a little, adjust things like the clarity or the texture. And then when I'm done, I could just choose to export 
this because right now it is a DNG image and whatever adjustments I'm making that is only in metadata. So then when I'm completely done I can choose export and then I can export that image. So that is the basics of how to do a photo merge in Adobe Lightroom.